Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Make This Happen, where we discuss an idea we've been dying to see come alive. Every week, my friend, Jay Yi, and myself, Alex Gonzalez, will bring you a product you never knew you needed. Now we're talking about gloves, and what I want specifically is I want cooling gloves. I want gloves that you can wear that will not make your palm sweaty. I want gloves that you can wear that while you're gaming, refresh and cool your hands. So in sweaty situations, you don't get sweaty. And you also, these are gloves that you wear so your controller doesn't get dirty. My controller gets all kinds of skin cells in the seams. Then I gotta get a paper clip and take it out. And that's nasty. All right. So there's gaming glasses. There's yeah. gaming chairs. There's gaming headsets. There's gaming microphones. For every sense, there is a gaming peripheral, but there isn't one for touch yet. And we need to make that happen. So these are specific for gaming. I think they're going to have a Bluetooth feel as well and maybe have individual vibrations in them as well. I was going to say that there was going to be some kind of haptic feedback yep. in these gloves. Um, yeah, probably tied to like Bluetooth, connect to your controller or your PlayStation what if or something. These contr- these um, gloves also give you an extra button in the back if you tap the back. So you don't have to have the button. You can just tap and program new buttons. Sure. Yeah, I think that could work. It would have to be a pretty forceful tap so it doesn't accidentally press the buttons or anything like that. But I think it could definitely work like that, like some kind of gyro plus pressure points on the fingertips or something that actually make it work. Um, In terms of cooling, the only thing I could see it do really is just have like I could see like when you put the glove on a lot of your skin will actually be showing on the gloves. Um, yeah. It'll just have like rubbery grip. That has, I don't like, want your, I don't want your hands to sweat and I want to have some kind of texture that makes it so. It all like I saves... see that, that it might work is if these, rubbery grips and also the it's going to be like striped a whole not a whole but like a mesh grip mesh grip mesh grip and then underneath what is on your hands are like little grooves or something like little lines like divots that are going like across and then maybe Mm -hmm. that'll like bring more airflow in i don't think it's going to be a perfect solution but i think right it it'll help for sure, I think. And then I see the haptics around the fingertips and also maybe on the back of the hands because I think the front of the hands will have all those holes for grip and for ventilation. Do we add RGB? Lights. No, I don't think so. I think that will make them that too would make bulky it hot. and hot. Okay. Yeah, bulky and hot. See, but they could be cool colors, like cool accents. It's going to be mostly black, but then I think uh, it, we could, like, yeah, add, like, neon green strips around them or, like, maybe reflective strip. And so they, like, reflect light really well. Um, and the way we're going to market these is we're going to appeal to it being clean gaming. That you can wear these and play with your buddy's controllers and you don't have to worry about communicating germs. You have to worry about germs or dirt getting on your controller. I think in the era that we're in of coronavirus, alpha, lambda, delta, we make a solution where even if you're at conventions, maybe this is a way to get conventions going where you can put these on and play and then take them off and still be clean. What do you think is the cleaning process for these. Would the instructions be take a disinfectant wipe and go like this? No, I think what you're going to have is it's going to include a spray Mm. that you spray on it and then you leave it in sunlight for for a minute. Or just wipe off with the paper towel or just wear them and then just like, you know, damp them on the paper towel. You know what I mean? Like just grip it. 
just take a paper towel and like grip it. Nah, I think a disinfectant spray is. That's what work. I mean. You you disinfect spray your gloves, put them oh. on, and then you just dry it off with a paper towel. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I guess so. I guess so. Yeah. I think Too bad they work. can't be like dishwasher safe or anything. Yeah. Or wash. There's no way. There's no way you're throwing this in there. Nope. It will say, do not throw in your washing machine. Not washing machine sh- safe. Nope. Not ever. Yeah. Do we want these gloves to also be compatible with the iPhone products? I think, yes. Like, I think um, it, it'll work with both iPhone or all iPhone, all controllers, mainstream controllers, and also, like, PC, like keyboard and mouse, I think it it could also work. Okay, great. Do we want to add some VR functionality? Sure. I think uh, at that point, I think each of these, so iPhone slash Android, Xbox slash PlayStation slash Stadia or whatnot, and then PC and VR, these will all be different products. Like these will all be different gloves yeah. that are made for these things. Like the iPhone slash Android one will have like things in the gloves that work with the iPhone, um, such as like, I don't know, since these gloves will have Bluetooth technology in them, I'm, I'm assuming they'll be able to like, program certain buttons to specific fingers just by default and like all that type of thing uh stuff uh because like there's this product i've been looking into called the backbone and you just put that's your a iPhone, controller yeah right you i want the backbone there, and it'll like there's a capture button and that will take a screenshot for you like there's buttons on this thing that through bluetooth can make your iphone do specific things that no it's super dope it makes me want like especially with apple arcade and everything it makes me want to play handheld and have a second console besides the switch we can't (laughs) back at least you know who's making this happen we're we're just gonna use right right because like also like Connecting my dual sense is fine and all that to my iPhone. The problem is, is like I put I that would require me to put my iPhone somewhere, so I could like play it with my controller because I can't obviously hold it, or I would have to buy a peripheral yeah. that connects to my dual sense that I could put my iPhone on too, you know. And the black backbone would take away all those troubles, and then maybe this glove could also just take away those troubles. Maybe instead of uh having to touch the screen to use the digital analog you could just touch the air you know what i mean and just move around oh yeah that would be better yeah i could see that and then you could also have that haptic feedback so it still feels good exactly like maybe it's like a distance to go down to activate the digital we wouldn't even call it digital the hollow joystick Mm -hmm. and it'll just work you know I wonder if it would be cool to do it like in VR, a controller actually appears in your hands when you're using the gloves. And then you could feel it. Yeah, with the haptic feedback. Yeah. Or like if there are no controllers or guns or something you're working with, you could just see your hands and it'll have perfect finger. Could we do the um, reactivity triggers where like, let's say you put your hand in the form of a gun and then, like, you're in VR, you can feel the trigger kind of with the glove when you squeeze. Yeah, I think that definitely can work. That's some uh, crazy stuff, man. I yeah, think this yeah. glove's going to be able to be marketed on the fact that it's going to be clean, that everyone can have their own glove. We can do um, on store, we'll do monograms and stuff like that in different designs and scribes and symbols. You know, so people who want the glove can have their own like streaming symbol on there. Yeah. And it can be used as additional advertisement for those streamers who show their keyboards. Exactly. 100%. All right. It sounds like we nailed this. Backbone, make this happen. Thanks for listening.
If you have any suggestions or products you'd like to see talked about, feel free to write in at at poundgames at gmail.com. We have a Patreon. If you'd like to join the at pound family, come find us at patreon.com slash we are not game devs. Patrons receive episodes two days early, meaning make this happen gets to your ears that much sooner. If you enjoyed our show, why not take a second to give us a review? We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play Store, and more. Catch you guys next Sunday with Jay's brilliant idea. Piggy bank. Piggy banks. Those have been in dire need to be redone. Do they? The, yeah, the, the most novel and coolest idea that came through was from um, the other side of the world where you put like a quarter on a table and a kitty's paw pops out and takes the quarter and puts it into the piggy bank. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. But that's not what I'm going with it. Maybe you not. could make it more interesting than what I have because what I have is pretty self-explanatory, but it works. We just go into another episode. I'm like, what do you have? <laughs>